there's the very surface ocean where there's a lot of sunlight. And then as you go down in the ocean, it's like turning down the dimmer switch where there's less and less light, but there's more and more nutrients. It's a hidden world, much like the understory of a rainforest. And crucially, it is home to organisms adapted to thrive in low light, like shrubs and grasses in the shadow of a forest canopy. We want to study it in particular since we know so little about it so we can better understand how the ocean might change its carbon storage in the future. Just like the leaves on trees, tiny plankton in the top layer of the ocean absorb carbon dioxide through photosynthesis. And just as fallen leaves return carbon to the soil, dead plankton sink and decompose, leaving traces of carbon at different depths in the sea. In the ocean, the decomposition is occurring as the plankton are settling downward and that moves carbon from the upper ocean into the deep sea. But how much carbon actually reaches the deep? We don't fully know. The ocean is our planet's most vital reservoir of carbon, so without this knowledge, we're missing a critical piece in the puzzle of climate prediction. This is the one area of the world where there's quite a lot of primary productivity that we can't measure from satellites. And since we can't reach that area by satellite, we don't understand the processes that control how much carbon is stored by the ocean. Enter Subsea. By gathering samples aboard ships and with autonomous robots, Subsea gains insight into this hidden layer, giving climate models the data they've been missing to help us better predict a changing world.